Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna make some pepperoni pizza mug cakes. So I'm gonna put three tablespoons of almond flour in a bowl. One, two, three. Oh shoot, I need an egg, hold on. Okay, got one large egg here, and then we are gonna do a pinch of sea salt. Just gonna throw a little bit in there. And then a pinch of Italian seasoning. I don't have any on me, so I'm just gonna do a pinch of parsley flakes. I have my stuff in little containers. Onion powder and garlic powder. I'm just doing like a pinch in each one. And then it calls for two tablespoons of butter. So I have a little tablespoon thing here. And you can put melted butter, but I only have softened butter, so I'll make it work. <laughs> okay, and then I am going to mix this up. Just gonna get it here. I'm gonna move it out of the way. See that right there? And then I need to put some baking powder in here, but I wanna mix all this up. This is so fast and so yummy. Okay, I need to put a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Let's have some baking powder right here. I'm kinda of winging it there. If I put too much, <laughs> and it just puffs up more, that's okay. I'm calling it deep dish pizza mug something. Okay, so this is my batter, see that? Can you see that batter? Right there, okay. So these are little ramekins that I have. You can use a coffee cup, but I use, I use these so that you can see them when I cook them, okay? And I'm just gonna spray them with a little bit of oil spray, like that. And then I'm just gonna spread this out in between two of these. So I do like big scoop, big scoop. I can't remember, but I think it's like three tablespoons each. Something like that. And then, See how fast that was. And then I'm just gonna scooch it out, just smooth it out a little bit on the bottom. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of marinara and cheese on top and pepperoni. And then, see that? Simple, huh? You might be able to put all of this in one big mug, I don't know, but anyway. Let me get the marinara and cheese. Okay, I'm gonna put one. You guys can put as much or as little as you want. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put three tablespoons just because I like a lot of sauce in each one. One, two, three. It's gonna kind of puff out like crazy, but that's okay. And then I happen to have mozzarella. You guys can put any kind of cheese you want. Sometimes I put cheddar, I don't care. Most people are like, ah, you have to do mozzarella. Not me, I'll put whatever I want. You can put about two or three tablespoons of cheese, whatever you like. And then, if you want, you can put some mini pepperonis or if you have regular pepperoni, you can just dice it up. I said to put nine on here, but I was just guesstimating. I just put a little handful of them on here. And then I like to put them in the microwave one at a time, just because I'm not sure how it's gonna cook if my microwave is uneven or not. But let me put these in the microwave for 90 seconds. See that? See how easy that was? Okay, be careful when you take these out of the microwave because the cup's gonna be really hot. Um, this one kind of cooked kind of funky, but I don't care. I'm going to let it sit for a minute because this is going to be, the cheese is going to be extremely hot. But, take a look at that. 
See that? This is super healthy. So I'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes because I don't want to burn my mouth off while I'm cooking the other one. Okay, little tip. I had this paper towel underneath and that helped a lot. And then this time I put my little food cooker thing on top so it wouldn't pop all over. So I thought I would share that with you guys. And there you have it. All the pizza marinara and stuff is down below. It's cooking down below. But look at that, how beautiful. So there you have it. Pizza mug something. I don't remember what I named it, but there you go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make